Oh hi. Mojolav, the city in the east of Balaras, the administrative center of the Mojolav region and the Mojolav district. In the 17th, 19th centuries, with the different purpose from the city of Mojolov, on Dniester before his renaming in 1923 into Mojolov Podolsk, Mojolov, on Dnieper, Mojolov Provincial often was called. For the first time the person appeared in the territory of modern Mojolov during the era of a late Paleo and during an era of early Mesolith. Most likely, not all parking, settlements and ancient settlements are revealed and surveyed by archaeologists. But with the analysis of these parking, settlements and ancient settlements there is an opportunity to track the ancient history of Mojolov. During Mesolatura on the first night by many terrace of the right coast of Dnieper and present east outskirts of the city in kilometer to the east of the railway bridge the Mojolov parking of Hunters was located. One of parking of the Neolithic was located on present east outskirts of the city on the first night by many terrace of Dnieper above the railway bridge in Gorichesen's natural boundary. This parking was carried to the Neolithic era because of existence of the pottery peculiar to this era. In 3, 2 millennia BB the territory of Mojolov tribes which lived in the basin of the average Dnieper current before occupied. The culture of these tribes is called Srednodnepravsky, and it is related to the cultures of Chnurvi ceramics and the fighting axes in the ancient time including territories from Finland and Sweden to the Carpathians in the south in the north from Cicural area in the east to Rain in the west. These cultures included ancient Indo-Europeans, ancestors of Slavs, Balts, Germans and other people. In the 7th, 5th centuries BB there was a Pelagivsky ancient settlement in Zmyok's natural boundary on the right coast of Dubrovenki near October movie theater. In the second half of one millennium ad there was an ancient settlement, Grave, near present Gorky Park on the height at Dubrovenki's confluence with Dnieper. Near the ancient settlement the settlement of the 5th, 7th century was located. In the territory of modern Mojolov, having forced out local population, that is Bolts, representatives of Krivici, Radomaki and Dregovici were settled. Through Mojolov across Dnieper there passed the conditional border between Krivici and Radimicha at this time. Five. F. Topatin claimed that Mojolov originally arose as the century fortified city in an environment of craft and rural settlements of the 11th, 12th centuries. He considered that Mojolov at the time was the city lock put on the southern borders of the Polotsk Principality. It put abundance of barrows around the ancient center of Mojolov as proof of existence of the feudal center. Topatin considered that the word city in Old Russian language meant not the city in social and economic value and the strength and settlement. Means cities, both medieval towns and military fortresses, feudal castles and the strength and villages were. Therefore, according to Kopitin's version, Mojolov quite could reckon with arrival of Slavs as the city. Confirm Kopitin's hypothesis of a find of instruments of labor, household items, weapon, jewelry collected to I.G. Shona in 1969, 1972 and the single fragments of ceramics characteristic of the 11th century. Also confirm the hypothesis and columns with the princely sign found in 1994 during excavation in the territory of the Mojolov Zamchish by the archaeologist A. A. Narzaliak and researches of the Russian scientist S. 5. 
Pilecki, who identified the princely sign on a column as belonging to the Prince Veslav Isislavovich. It is possible to make the assumption that Mojilev as the center of princely administration existed in 1002-1003, at the time of the Prince Veslav Isislavovich. In the literature, the hypothesis was already made that in the 11th century, in the territory of Azamchesht, there was churchyard, the place of collecting a tribute at the population. The most ancient written source in which Mojolev is mentioned is the list of the Russian cities distant and near. This list was made not earlier than 1394. Present date of the basis was entered 1267 by N. Korsinsky in the second half of the 19th century, but has no documentary confirmation. About origin of the name of the city of authentic data isn't available. There are only assumptions, legends and legends. The personal name Prave can be the cornerstone of the name what existence of a possessive suffix, usually combined with personal names testifies to. However the particular person with such name in the history of the city isn't identified. In the introduction to the Mojilev Chronicle, it is said that this name comes from a name of the Prince Lev Danilovich Mojia. A mighty lion who in 1267 constructed the Mojolov Castle. Some researchers connect the origin of the name of the city with a name of the Palatsk Prince Lev Vladimirovich or Lev Mabuchego. There is also a version about origin of the name of the city from a Finno-Ugric Majilie, the mountain over water. The next stage in development of Mojilov began in 12, the first half of the 13 centuries. The occupation layer which speaks about life of people is found in the territory of Azamchisht, on the place of modern Gorky Park, near present structures of a Gorvoda canal, around the Borisoglebsk and crest of Ozovonsky churches, and on a small part of the Mojilov. Wykowski Market In the 12th century on the place of present Gorky Park there was a strengthened ancient settlement. In the 12th, 13th centuries life prospered here. It is proved by the glass bracelets found during Marzaliuk's excavation, weapon elements, slags, pieces of copper, silver, bronze, metal instruments of labor, various ceramics, the processed bone, columns with princely signs. Results of researches of defensive designs and the ceramics of the 12th century found in them allowed to draw a conclusion. The first stage of works on construction of defensive works began at this particular time. On the basis of finds, the square of the ancient settlement, existence of strengthenings, the researcher draws a conclusion that in the territory of the ancient settlement there is a princely administration and soldiers, pottery, metalworking, processing of a bone develop. The last researches showed that Mojilev of the time was the center of the feudal estate ancestral lands, also, probably, at this time it was boundary fortress. Numerous wars repeatedly destroyed the city, but his fortress stood, and her not numerous constructions which reached our days are the main monuments of old Mojilev. Eventually the city turned into the large shopping and craft center with the effective system of defensive strengthenings. In Belarus there was no city which, like Mojilev, would have three belts of strengthenings. The cities dispersed on all central region and beyond his limits monuments history keep color of the historic last town on Dnieper. In the first half of the 13th century, probably during attack, Mongol Tatars took and burned Mojilev. It is confirmed by the last archaeological researches.
In 1358 Mojilev was captured by Grand Duchy of Lithuania. Right after it the city becomes the center of the Mojilev Volist and one of destinies of the Grand Duke Aldert. After his death in 1377, Mojilev became the possession Yegelo. After the city with the Volist for several next centuries there is a hereditary manor of a dynasty Yegelinov. Yegelo, having married the Polish Queen Jadwaj, I gave her Mojilev to lifelong use with all income from the population. Mojilev in 1430 supported election on Svidrigailo's throne. In Mojilev in honor of the Prophet Ilya, by order of the Prince Kazimir Yajalinchik, in memory of rescue of his wife in day of the Saint Prophet Ilya from drowning, in 1460 on the bank of Dnieper the Mojilev masters constructed wooden Alliansky church. Under 1480 in books of the Belarusian Lithuanian state Mojilev it is mentioned as the city which had a customs outpost. In the 16th century Mojilev finally became the city. The structure was created, the population grew, crafts and trade developed. In 1503 Mojilev and Volist became wedding gifts of the Grand Duke Alexander to Elena, the daughter of the Moscow Prince, and lifelong possession. After falling of Smolensk and its transition to structure of the Grand Duchy Moscow in 1514 Mojilev took him to function. Many Smolensk merchants moved to Mojilev, brought the capitals and readdressed the affairs and communications to Mojilev. Favorable transport and convenient strategic provisions and enterprise of merchants made it the largest trade knot in the east of Grand Duchy of Lithuania. Also Mojilev quite often was mortgages Grand Dukes borrowed from rich people and gave to loan providers Mojilev to continents. Because of it full economic and cultural development of the city was impossible as loan providers squeezed out of the city at most of income. On December 5, 1522 the Grand Duke Sigismund I signed the diploma to the Prince V. Salomaretsky on lifelong knowledge of the Lock and the Mojilev Volist. Under walls of Mojilev the Moscow groups appeared in 1518, 1519 and 1535. They devastated only vicinities, but not the city. In 1526 the new Mojilev castle is constructed. It was under construction on the height of a right bank of Dnieper about the Brovenkis falling into him. The Locke form reminded a quadrangle and towered approximately on 20, 25 m over vicinities. It was strengthened by shaft from clay and sand. In the 16th century on a shaft there were shrubny wooden strengthenings and inside for cold and fire tools. From the city it was fenced off by a ditch through which there passed the wooden bridge. In 1534 from Mojilev the large campaign of troops of Grand Duchy of Lithuania on the Moscow lands was begun. According to the register of 1552, Mojilev was only second place after Vilm. Nowadays Vilnius. On payment of war taxes. Each citizen contributed 150 kopecks of pennies when the capital minus 300. In 1526 Mojilev acquired the right of the city, in 1561 received from the Prince Sigismund Augustus the small Mike Borg right and the right for a Wojtovsko. After the Lublin union between the Kingdom Polish and Grand Duchy of Lithuania, Mojilev appeared as a part of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. In 1577 Mojilev from the King S. Pretoria acquired the Big Mag Borg right. In 1595 Mojilev was attacked by groups of insurgents of S. 
Malaveco, the city underwent considerable destructions, many of inhabitants were killed. In 1618 in the city there was a revolt mines approach of Greco-Catholic Uniatsky Church, suppressed by the authorities of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Instigators of a revolt were executed, and all Orthodox churches and monasteries are transferred to possession of Uniats and Catholics. In 1654 Mojilev without fight opened gate of the Russian army. A year later he was besieged by 12,000 Polish-Lithuanian army led by Yao. Radzivil, however without results, raised a siege. As well in 1660 the Russian garrison together with the Zaporizhia Cossacks successfully reflected the Polish-Lithuanian siege. However, at the beginning of 1661 as a result of a popular uprising the Russian garrison was completely destroyed by citizens and the city returned to structure of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. The revolt in Mojilev took place under the direction of Jozef Leonovich's bailiff. The Mojilev Chronicle reports that citizens destroyed 3,000 Russian soldiers, but there are assumptions that this figure is overestimated. Probably inhabitants Zanaprovia as placement of all Russian garrison only in the central part of the city was impossible also participated in a revolt. Presumably, about a half of the Russian garrison lived in houses on Lupolovo and Troicha. Events of war between Russia and Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth of Steel for inhabitants Zadnoprovia real tragedy. Army and Yao. Kasimir and A. Mikhailovich, Lupolova and Troyechi passing through the territory, quite often plundered and killed locals, burned their houses and churches. In 1662 through the city the Austrian diplomat and the traveler A. Meyerberg who left the description of architecture, life of inhabitants and vicinities of Mojilov passed. Mojilev strongly suffered during Northern War, having burned down in 1708. The Slovak Memoirist D. Kerman in the diary tells the following about Mojilev. Having caught sight of Mojilev, we spent the night under the open sky, without water, without hay and with the greatest danger to life. Next day, on August 16, we entered the city of Mojilev. This city has deep ditches and defensive strengthenings. Is at it an extensive suburb though the city is small? One of the Swedish soldiers also wrote down the impressions about Mojilev. Dnieper River a Boris van proceeds through Mojilev which together with suburbs on both river banks makes quite big city. The city is well built and has a rich, sand appearance. As an earth shaft which enclosed around all Mojilev, even the suburb on this river bank is also protected by shaft. After the first section of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth in 1772 Mojilev was a part of the Russian Empire and became the center of the Mojilev province, and in 1777, the Mojilov province. Future Count M. Tovsky became the first Mojilov governor. In 1780 Mojilov was visited by the Empress All-Russian Catherine II where she met the Emperor of the Sacred Roman Empire Joseph II. 12 on June. 24. 1812 the 600,000 Napoleonic army attacked Russia. In the face of a threefold superiority in strength of the opponent, the Russian troops began retreat. 11 on July 23. 
1812 between the villages of Soltanovka and Fatovo, in 12 came to the southwest of Mojilov, fight between troops of the 7th Infantry Case under command of the Lieutenant General N. Rayevsky and the French troops under command of the Marshal 50. Day that was started. The Russian troops gave battle to the French to distract their attention from a crossing of the main forces of the Second Army through Dnieper. In memory of battle near Soltanovkaya in 1812 the monument was erected. During World War I on August 8, 1915, because of retreat of the front the rate of the Supreme Commander was postponed for the east, from Brenovici to Mojilov. The rate was placed in the territory of Presenslava Square. All buildings were involved, up to a town hall, only staff officers there were about 1,000 people. In the building of Provincial Board it is lost. The rate in a study of the commander was located. In the building of the governor it is lost. Generally apartments of command structure, including the head of the headquarters Alakiv and Nicholas II. The family of the emperor, except the successor Alexei, at a rate couldn't live and accommodated in cause of the warranty train getting in the separate way near the railway station. In the building of present museum of local law there was a management of the duty general, management of the railway message, sea affairs and communications. Exactly here, on the second floor. Nowadays Department of the Nature of the Museum. There was a farewell of the Tsar to the highest officers, after renunciation of a throne. On the square in front of the museum there took place regular rewardings of the cause they stir soldiers. Nowadays in the memory of it, on the place of the lost buildings, the memorable sign is built. In March, 1917 Nicholas II goes to Street Petersburg, but without having reached, comes back already the Colonel Romanov. The Commander-in-Chief there is 50. Kornilov. From here he begins a campaign on suppression of a Bolshevitsky revolution in June, 1917. In November, 1917. The Ensign Krylenko becomes the Commander-in-Chief. Soon the rate in Mojilev is abolished. As to the February Revolution of 1917 in Mojilev, the Mojilev Belarusian Committee was created. The Mojilev Belarusian Organizing Committee, the Mojilev Belarusian Council, March, 1917, Fall of 1918. The editor of the Mojilyovsky Vestnik newspaper M. Kakanovich was one of organizers of MP, in the subsequent became its chairman. In Mojilov all supreme commanders who were on a post after the February Revolution M. Alakiv A. Bruzilov 50. Kornilov worked. One on September 14. 1917 in Mojilov the name of provisional government arrested the general from an infantry at Kornilov. He contained 12 days under arrest in Bristol Hotel before it was sent to Baikov. On November 20. On December. 1917 on the platform of the Mojilov station the last supreme commander the Russian army and Dukhanin was killed by soldiers and sailors. In 1918 Mojilov was occupied by the Polish legionaries, then the German troops, the same year, during the German occupation proclaimed by the Belarusian socialist separatists, the Belarusian People's Republic, which, however, couldn't resist two forces of the Red Army as, Ni, didn't enjoy support of the population.
on January 1, 1919 according to the resolution of the A Congress of the Communist Party of Belarus Mojilev was a part of B's, but on January 16 according to the decision of the central bodies of the Communist Party of Bolsheviks the city was transferred to structure of Rostos. In 1924 Mojilov was selected at Rusfurs and Bees where became the center of the district and area. Since 1938 the center of the Mojilov region is transferred. In 1938 in connection with the project of transfer of the capital of Bees to Mojilov reconstruction of the city began. The House of Soviets, Rodina Movie Theater, the building of People's Commissariat for Internal Affairs of Bees. Now, the Belarusian Russian University. Hotel, a number of multi storied houses were built. Considerable allocations were allocated for arrangement of the city, education, health care. The master plan of the city is in a short space of time developed. But as a result of accession to bees of the Western Belarus, the idea of transfer of the capital from Minsk to Mojilev disappeared. After release of bees from the German invaders as Minsk was almost completely destroyed, Mojilev was considered as the possible capital of bees again, but didn't receive this status. In July, August, 1940 in the city the 161st Rifle Division was created. On June 22, 1941 Germany attacked the Soviet Union. The Great Patriotic War began. At the end of June, 1941 the German troops were near Mojilev. 17 days, from July 4 to July 21, fights on all directions in suburbs of the city were going. Especially heavy fights were developed in the settlement of Bainichi. However, before superior forces of Wehrmacht, which were four infantry divisions, the 3rd Tank Division, a part of forces of the 10th Motorized Division and the Motorized Reich Division CC, the regiment, Great Germany, the Soviet troops were forced to recede. On July 26, 1941, Germans captured Mojilev, under which walls they suffered significant losses. At interrogation of the captured German staff officer found out that the connections of Wehrmacht which were involved in fights under the city lost 30-35% of staff, 45-50% of tanks, self-propelled guns and armored personnel carriers, a large number of tools, machine guns and other weapon. Defense of Mojilev allowed to delay from July 3 to July 26. 1941 advance of the German troops to the east. In memory of bloody battles in the settlement of Bainichi, the memorial complex is open for heroic defenders of the city of Mojilav, Binichsky Field. In memory of heroic defenders of the city near the village of Gay, the memorial complex, a monument to battalion of militia under command of the Captain K. She. Vladimirov is built. Having captured Mojilev, Hitlerites set the cruel occupational mode, created several concentration camps, including Grabenyovsky and Lupolovsky extermination camps, the 341st transit camp for the Soviet prisoners of war. In the years of the war in Mojilev and vicinities more than 70,000 Soviet citizens died, about 30,000 have taken out for forced labor to Germany. According to a population census of 1939 in Mojilev there were Jews 19.83% of the total number of inhabitants. The most part they were driven by Nazis in the Mojilev ghetto and by 1943 are killed about 12,000 people. Synagogues of the city were closed, for more than three tens only three buildings remained. Coral Merchant Lubavici
Geographical coordinates of the city minus 53, 54 AN and 30, 20 AL. The time zone of Mojolov, Utes plus 3. Water resources of the city are presented. Dnieper, Tubravenka and the rivers flowing into them, the sacred lake. Mojolov is located in 645 km from a source of Dnieper. The extensive network railway and the highways dispersing from the city in all directions connects it with the largest industrial and cultural centers of Belarus, Russia and Ukraine. Two hundred came separate Mojolov from the capital of Belarus of Minsk to Moscow on a straight line minus five hundred twenty came to street. Petersburg about seven hundred came to Kiev minus three hundred eighty came. Dnieper divides the city into two parts. Right coast radical. It towers on twenty five thirty m over the low flow level of the river. From here the view of a Zadnoprovsky part of the city which was filled in at a flood for several weeks with water earlier, and now almost completely built up opens. Width of Dnieper in Mojolev reaches nearly 100 m. Dnieper within 230 days in a year is navigable. 100, 150 in trotty time. Climate in Mojolev moderately continental. Sites Mojolev Regional Museum of Local Lore V. R. Romanov Mojolev Regional Art Museum of P. 5. Maslenikov 5. A. Balinitsky Birls Museum Museum of History of Mojolev Theatres In the Mojolev Theatre B. Babotkin worked. Festivals. Anamavka. Cold smash hit. At RTM. Contact. Plasticine stork. Magutna Boza. Movie theaters. Cervini I am sharp sighted. With Belarusian, a red star. Radzam. Starlight. Space. October. Mojolev, the fourth in the number of inhabitants. After Minsk, Komal and Vitebsk. The population makes 357,100 persons. On January 1, 2020. In 2017 in Mojolov was born 3698 and 3668 people died. Birth rate coefficient minus 9.7 on 1000 people. An average value on the Mojolev region minus 10.5, on the Republic minus 10. Mortality rate minus 9.6 on 1000 people. An average value on area minus 13.6, on the Republic minus 12. On number been born in 2017 Mojolev was in the penultimate place among the regional centers, advancing only Vitebsk. The birth rate coefficient in Mojolev is higher than in Vitebsk, but below than in other regional centers, the mortality rate of the population is lower than in Vitebsk and above than in other regional centers. In 2017 in Mojolev 2777 marriages, 7 7.3 on 1000 people, an average value on the Mojolev region minus 7. And 1504 divorces were concluded. 
3.9 on 1000 people, an average value on the Mojolev region minus 3. On number got married on 1000 people, the area takes the fifth place in the area. After the Mojolev, Kribliansky, Krachevsky districts, and Babarysk. On number of stains on 1000 people, the second place. After Babarusk. In Mojolev, there are residential districts. Kazimirovka, satellite anniversary, name of 5. V. Phaeton, world minus 2, world minus 1, northern, Technopriber, etc. Oktyarsky district was formed on December 25, 1962, by the decree of Presidium of the Supreme Council of Bizno. 356. The territory of the area is made by a left bank part of Dnieper River, outside of Chelyaskintsev Street, outside of Vishnovetsky Street and the industrial settlement. The area of the area is 5289 hectares. About 168,000 people live in Oktyarsky district. In the territory of the area, 360 streets and lanes are located. The main highways of the area are Bushkinsky Avenue, Dimitrov Avenue, Schmidt Avenue, Chelyaskintsev Street, Kabrovskaya Street and Ostrovsky Street. Leninsky District, also as well as October, is formed on December 25. 1962 by the decree of Presidium of the Supreme Council of Bees No. 356. It is located on the right river bank Dnieper. The area of the area is more than 5.5 thousand hectares, and the population about 210 thousand people. Trunk mains of the area. It Yakubovsky Street, Krupskaya Street, Pervomyskaya Street, Mira Avenue and Kosmonovtev Street. In the area the Regional Drama Theatre, Regional Puppet Theatre, Regional Museum of Local Law, the Museum of History of Mojolov, Regional Library of Lenin and other institutions are located. In the Mojolov Theatre B. Babotkin worked. Sport. Spartak Stadium Sports Constructions in Mojolav Sports Olympian Complex Spartak Stadium Torpedo Stadium Ice Arena The Sports Olympian Complex is open in May, 2006. The total area of a complex is 18,994.3 m from which sporting venues without stands, locker rooms and other administration and utility rooms occupy 8,224.5 m The Sports Olympian Complex is one of the largest constructions of Belarus. It is the modern multipurpose subject of the Republican and International Standard including a track and field athletics arena and a hall of game sports with 2740 places for the audience. Are a part of a complex. Gym, fitness studio, billiard hall, cafe, saunas, hall of press conferences. Olympian has necessary infrastructure for holding sports and Massachusetts and cultural and entertaining actions of various level and scale. Teams Soccer Torpedo, Dnieper, Nadefta Sports School No. 7 Hockey Mojolav Volleyball Mojolav Lions, Komunalnik 
handball, Masheka, basketball, Borisven, 5A side, 40. In Mojilev, a few sites remained. The majority was blown up in post war time. From cult constructions remained the operating Orthodox street. Naples Convent, Catholic Cathedral of the Assumption and St. Stanislav, the Cathedral of Three Prelates, Krestovskia Church. The 17th century. Sacred Krestovskia Cathedral. 1869. The historic center of the city, pedestrian Leninskaya Street with the remained buildings. The 18th-19th century. The drama theater constructed in 1888, the building of the railway station. In 2008 the building of a city town hall was restored. Square of Glory Former Sovetskaya Square Main Article Sovetskaya Square Mojilav Square of Glory Monument on Square of Glory Sovetskaya Square carried the name trade earlier. Below, if to look from the high coast, to the left of the bridge through Dnieper there was a pier earlier. Mojilev was large river port. After accession in 1772 of Mojilev to the Russian Empire the floor space received the name Governors. Her new shape was developed by the famous Russian architect Zen. Of Avant 5. Stasev. From the area take down benches and other constructions, and on her perimeter four two-storied buildings in style of classicism were erected. The governor's house, the building of provincial board, the house of the vice governor and the building in which there were a territorial court, a medical justice, archive, and later district court. Now here museum of local lore. From all complex only the building in which the Museum of Local Law is placed now remained. In 1919 the square received the new name. In honor of the two provincial congress of councils. Passed in the building of town council. Which announced on December 15, 1917 the Soviet power in the Mojilov province. From this day it began to be called Soviet. During the German occupation in 1941-1944 Sovetskaya Square, the place of an execution of patriotic underground workers. The area was in a zone of heavy fighting to the country twice in 1941 and 1944. Then pass her and bombing of Mojilev by the Soviet aircraft in 1943. Heaps of fragments stayed at home on the place of the governor and provincial board, only the box reminded of the house of the vice governor. It is demolished in the 1950th years. The town hall and other constructions partially suffered. In the late 40s ruins took down. On July 1, 2014, Sovetskaya Square is renamed into Square of Glory. In 1578, in a year after obtaining the diploma by the city on the Magborg Rite, in Mojilov construction of a city town hall began. Originally the town hall was wooden, therefore repeatedly I burned down completely, and her location changed. On September 4, 1679, citizens started construction of a stone town hall which main case was built by 1681 and completely completed the construction in 1698. The building was tiled, built two porches. 
big and small, over which took place Gilded Day Weather Vane, Anemone, height of a 8 faced 5 level tower with a spike equaled 46m. During Northern War in September 1708, the town hall burned down, but was quickly restored, and in 1733, in her big repairs are made. The building was the highest in the city. In 1780, from her observation deck, Mojil of the Empress Catherine II and the Emperor of the Sacred Roman Empire Joseph II admired. During the Great Patriotic War, the town hall was strongly damaged. On December 28, 1952, at a meeting of architects of Bees on Protection of Monuments of Architecture, the decision on her restoration, on September 11, 1953, the decision of Executive Committee of the Mojolov City Council of Deputies No. 725, according to which the building of a town hall appeared an architecture monument was made, and the works on her restoration had to be completed by December 10, 1953. However, restoration of a town hall wasn't begun. And in July, 1957, she was blown up. Repeatedly a talk on restoration of a city town hall rose, but only on May 23, 1992 there was a symbolical foundation stone laying on the old place of future town hall and his consecration on a solemn prayer. Really started the project and construction only in 2007. In 2008 on a city day there was her ceremonial opening. In Mojilev, Pechersky, Kazimirovsky and Lyubutsky forest parks, three parks, more than 40 squares are located. The total area of green plantings of Mojilev is 300 hectares. At the end of 2018 works on creation of city recreation park, Padnakali, which is in the downtown in the floodplain of Dnieper near street. Nicholas Convent ended. On Jurov Avenue names of 104 heroes of the Soviet Union, natives and residents of the Mojilov region are immortalized. The Mojilov Zoo was constructed on the basis of establishment of education, Mojilov State Professional Agrotimber College of K.P. Orlovsky in the Agrotown by Nietzsche in 2004. The zoo in May 2005 opened. The area of a zoo minus 120 hectares. In the territory of a zoo there are fields, a meadow, the forest, lakes. About 200 wild animals not only from Belarus, but also the planets brought from other corners live in them. Unique feature of a zoo are not only its big scales and a variety of types, but also a way of keeping of animals. They live, behind some exceptions, out of cages, in open-air cages therefore visitors can approach inhabitants of a zoo and at the same time feel safe. Also in a zoo serious educational and scientific work on rehabilitation of patients and the animals who got into trouble is performed. At a zoo to services of visitors there are arbors, tracks, points of food, cafe, past the railroad. Also at a zoo there are five agro estates both for outdoor recreation and as educational base for training of workers on a landscape, guides, businessmen. Mojilev is the economic center of the Mojilev region. The average monthly nominal charged wage to a deduction of income tax and the second part of insurance assignments. In 2017 in Mojilev was 768.6 rubles, about dollar 375. Salary in Mojilev the highest in the Mojilev region, but below average over the country, 883 rubles. 
the city takes the 18th place on salary level among 129 areas and the cities of regional submission of Republic of Belarus. From the regional centers Mojilev advances only Vitebsk. 745 rubles. The Free Economic Zone Mojilov is created by the decree of the President of Republic of Belarus about creation of the Free Economic Zone Mojilov of January 31, 2002. No. 66. The total area of says Mojilov is 3,339.4 hectares, and she is divided into 18 sites. In the territory of Mojilav and the Mojilav district, 10 sites of Sez Mojilav are located. Site No. 1. The Northern Industrial Hub. Minus 373 hectares. Site No. 2. East Industrial Zone. Minus 182.6 hectares. Site No. 3. The District of Kirav. Minus 65.69 hectares. Site No. 4. The area of Chest Megillyev Voloko. Minus 925.23 hectares. Site No. 5. The region of the item of Bainichi. Minus 78.5 hectares. Site No. 6. The area of Slavgorodskoye Highway. Minus 187.95 hectares. Site No. 7. Region of Krebenyovo. Minus 237.03 hectares. Site No. 8. The area of Komolskoy Highway. Minus 58 hectares. Site No. 10. The area of Chelyaskinsa Street. Minus 102.74 hectares. Site No. 15. The district of the village Nikitinichi of the Mojilev district. Minus 206.75 hectares. As of January 2019 in says Mojilev, 43 residents are registered. The majority, the enterprises from Belarus, but also are registered the enterprises from Estonia, China, Russia, Cyprus, Germany, Israel, Lithuania, Turkey, the Netherlands and Austria. The industry structure of an industrial complex of Mojilov the dominating industries is chemical and petrochemical. 29.1% Mechanical engineering and metalworking. 35.2% Food 18 8% Easy 11% Which define practically all foreign trade turnover of the city. Zest Megulia Folica opened the production on November 5, 1968 having turned out the first products, the first dimethyltereftalate. Now just Megillyev Voloko the complex, largest in Europe, on production of polyeterephthalate, polyester fibers and technical threads. Zest Megillyev Liftef's producer of elevators. It is founded in 1966. The Resolution of Council of Ministers of the Yasa No. 835 about actions for increase in production of elevators and increase in their quality. 
Since 2014 Jest Majilov Liftifts became management company of Majilov Liftifts Holding. The following enterprises are a part of holding. Jest Majilov Liftifts, Jest Mojilov Plant Electrodigatel, Jest Zenit, Jest Vetres Plant. Now the products of Jest Majilov Liftifts include passenger, hospital and freight elevators. 130 models with a loading capacity from 100 to 60 300k, various non-standard elevators. Also platforms of various type for physically weakened faces, escalators and travelators, construction elevators, mulcherovchik and consumer goods are issued. Noah, Red Metal Worker, is the largest producer in Belarus of goods from stainless steel. The enterprise specializes in release of scissors, tableware, kitchen accessories, corking products, knives, production of details under the order, souvenir products. Also there is a service of a laser engraving. In the food industry of Mojilov the enterprise is for production of confectionery and bakery products, dairy and meat products, ice cream work. Yes, Bulokno Konditorsky Company Domache is the largest producer of the wide range of confectionery and bakery products, such as ginger breads, cookies, oat, sugar, sweets, flour and sugar, cakes, cakes, wafers, etc. In the Mojilev region. In Mojilev, three production associations are located. In the regional center, seven branches are located. In addition, branches produce wine, fruit and berry, malt, jam, soft drinks, substitute of whole milk. Jesk Mojilov Meat Processing Plant, one of the largest enterprises of the meat industry in Belarus, founded in 1905 as a city slaughterhouse. The line of products is presented by different types of boiled sausages, sausages and sausages, baby food, meat delicacies, palmeni and chebrex and meat semi-finished products products. Also Jest Mojilov Meat Processing Plant receives various awards at competitions of republican and international levels. Jesk Babushkana Krinka, one of the largest producers of dairy products, is also management company of Mojilov Dairy Company, Grandmother's Krinka Holding. The company was founded in 1979 as the processor of milk and the producer of main types of dairy products. The product range includes more than 250 names of dairy and fermented milk products, cottage cheese and cottage cheese products, sour creams, oils, yogurts, ice cream, cheeses and other dairy products. Also Jest Babushkina Krinka is a winner in Republican and international competitions. Jest Mojilo Factory of Ice Cream which opened in 1957 is large in modern production of the wide range of ice cream, the frozen glazed cheese curds, mayonnaise and the frozen semi-finished products from the test. In 2013 the enterprise was entitled the winner of the award of the Government of Republic of Belarus for achievements in the field of quality. Test Majilovsky Kisi I made the first products, a silicate brick, on August 13, 1968. Process of privatization took place in three stages. Since March, 1989 I worked in full self-financing. Since February, 1994 it is transformed to the collective enterprise. Since December, 1999 it is also so far registered as Kist Majilovsky Kisi. A plant works on modernization of the equipment and improvement of quality of products are constantly performed.
The products of the enterprise are presented by cellular blocks, silicate bricks, crossing points, expanded polystyrene, shredded heaters, concrete mixes and concrete goods. Jesp Modulov House building plant created in 1971 is the enterprise for construction of multi-story prefabricated houses, largest in the Modulov region. The products of Jesp Modulov house building plant include multi-storied houses of the efficiency different series, combined reinforced and concrete structures, products of own production, wall blocks, commodity concrete, dry mixes, construction metal products. Test Mogatex I opened production in 1973, where it began with commissioning of finishing and weavers factories. Now at weaving mill it is established. 937 weaving looms, 83 Osnovovas all knitted cars, 12 section warping cars. Finishing production consists of 130 units of the technical equipment intended for production of ready fabrics. The sewing production opened in November, 1994 allows to make special, uniform, household clothes, a bed and table linen, products for interior registration now. The range of sewing products includes more than 600 models and is constantly updated. The equipment for production of non-woven textile fabrics on the basis of processing of textile waste of weavers, finishing and sewing productions works at the areas of finishing factory. Today the product range of Jest Mogatex includes more than 300 types and is constantly updated. Total length of the fabric produced in a year reaches 56 molnem. More than 84% of the made products go for export. In 2013 the Polotsk factory, Mona, was attached. In 2017, Kabrinsky Jesk sewing firm Lona was a part of Jesk Mogatex. Also, Jesk Mogatex receives awards of various level. In April 2020, against the background of COVID-19 pandemic, the enterprise in Mojilev and also branches in Kobrin, Polotsk and Baikov was temporarily converted to production of reusable face packs. P. Belvelestan in 2008 opened the area's first hypermarket which became the first hypermarket of Jipo network outside the Belarusian capital. In 2014 the e-city hypermarket which is considered the biggest shopping center in the Mojilov region was open. On December 15, 2012 the hypermarket of the construction and finishing materials OMA is open. In 2015 there began work the shopping center, Park City. In it Everett shops, shop household and audio video of the five element equipment, clothing stores and the footwear, Elk Waikiki, Mark Formel, and a set of other shopping facilities are located. It is remarkable that the adjacent territory is arranged well and equipped under the interests of skateboarders and cyclists. On parking opposite to shopping center hills and springboards for driving and tricks were placed. In July 2019 new shopping center atrium opened. Now in it the Sosedi supermarket, shop of electric power electronics, fast food restaurants, Burger King, EKFC and also other outlets works. In January 2020 the area's first McDonald's restaurant and shopping center Arbat opened. Markets Central Minsk Mojilev Baikovsky Vilensky Trebenyovsky Kazimirovsky Near the station Car Market Words. 
For 2017, the total area of housing stock of the city increased from 6,896.7 thousand M up to 8,542.7 thousand M. Gain was 24%. Security of the population with housing for the same period grew from 19.3 M on the person at the time the first place among the regional centers up to 22.4 M the fourth place after Brest, Grodno and Minsk In the first quarter 2019 of housing price in Mojilov were flush with Fitubsk and Gomel. Dollar 584 for 1 M. Were also lower than in Minsk. A difference more than twice. Saligorsk, Brest, Grodno and Molodekno. Mojilov is connected with other settlements highways M. Mojilev, Minsk ME 95P Mojilev, Slavgorod P Mojilev, Shlav, Orsha P Mojilev, Babrusk P Mojilev, Ryasna, Mstislavl P Mojilev, Cherikov, Kostukovici P Mojilev, Tribin, Korki. In the city, the bus, trolleybus, and electrobus, the movement, the movement of share taxis is organized. In the city, are available. Mojilev branch bus fleet, no. One and Mojilev branch trolleybus, the park, no. One. Earlier red map bus fleet no. 4. The organization of long distance transportations. Worked. Also site no. 22 of the Mojilev branch bus fleet no. 1. The trolleybus movement in Mojilev was open on January 19, 1970 and today contains nine routes. For 2021. Operating organization is the Mojilev Branch Trolleybus Park No. 1 of Jest Mikhailovlaya Volyvlaftikans, which part 1 Trolleybus Park is. The rolling stock is presented by cars. In Chem minus 201. Since 2019, a discharge of operation. In Chem minus 321, Axum minus 201. Since 2019, a discharge of operation. Axum minus 321, a source is unspecified 1106 days. Since February 2018 in Mojilov, two careers take Bev Electrobus along trolleybus route no. 4 began to ply. Since October 2021 across Mojilov Electrobus Mars minus E began to ply. The bus movement in Mojilov was opened in 1934 and today contains 41 city routes. The rolling stock is presented by cars. Mercedes Benz OG. The last bus is copied and utilized in December 2020. Mars minus 103. Both in city and in suburban execution. By Mars minus 105, Mars minus 107, Mars minus 203, Mars minus 206, Mars minus 215. Neiman minus 420,234, Mars minus 251, Mars minus 241, Kaze R of next, Atlant MCV asterisk. Volkswagen Crafter. 
Pull as minus 525,110 10 voyage. On the basis of the Scania K250 ABEX N chassis. Mus minus 256, works 33 lines of share taxis. Share taxis are presented by cars. Vizel, Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, Volkswagen Crafter, Peugeot Boxer, Ford Transit, has next and others. The suburban and long-distance message is carried out from the Mojolov bus station and it is presented by 51 suburban routes. Mojolov is connected by bus routes with all regional centers of the Mojolov region. Except the Sipovici and all regional centers of Belarus, except Grodno and Brest, and also with Kiev, Riga, Novopolatsk Street, Petersburg, Moscow, Smolensk, Oryol, Rychitsy, Borisov, Skov and other cities. Railway communication opened in Mojolov in 1902. Then the building of the railway station on Mikrovsky Avenue was built. Nowadays Pervomyskaya Street. During all the time the building of the railway station practically didn't change, but transferred several repairs. Also ticket offices and the luggage compartment were at different times constructed. The railway station is registered as Mojolov Station 1. Except this station within the city stations Mojolev 2, Lupolovo, Mojolev 3, a stopping point Gorodshina are located. Behind city boundaries there is a Mojolev airport from which charter flights to the resorts of Egypt, Turkey and Bulgaria are organized. In the tourist purposes navigation across Dnieper along a route the Mojolev Zoo, Mojolev. Here on Bolshaya Shiskaya Street. Alexandria is organized. Television. Belarus 4 Mojolev TV channel. TV minus 2 Mojolev TV channel. Radio. National Radio minus 88.0 FM. Radio Unistar minus 90.0 FM. Humor of FM, minus 91.9 FM. The pilot of FM, minus 93.2 FM. FM center, minus 94.3 FM. New radio, minus 95.7 FM. Radio Mojolov, minus 96.4 FM. Radio Minsk, minus 98. 1 FM. The Russian Radio, minus 98.6 FM. Culture Channel, minus 99.1 FM. FM Radius, minus 100.9 FM. Sincere Radio, minus 102.1 FM. Radio Rocks, minus 103.4 FM. BHA Radio, minus 104.5 FM. Channel 1 of the Belarusian Radio, minus 105.9 FM. Radio Mir, minus 107.8 FM. Press. Newspaper. Mojolev Sheets Mojolevsky Pravda Newspaper Mkrovskaya Nadeli Newspaper The Newspaper The Earth and People The Newspaper, Bulletin of Mojolev Evening Mojolev Newspaper the first schools in Mojolev existed at churches and monasteries. 
in the 14, 15 centuries of school were created in large manners. In 1590, 1592 in the city at the Spassky Monastery the Brotherly School which played an important role in development of education is founded and in fate man's violent planting of Catholicism among the population. The school learned Slavic, Greek, Latin, Polish, Russian languages, dialectics, rhetoric, music. The school gave also some knowledge of arithmetics, geometry, astronomy, geography. In the 1740th years in Mojilev, the Prairie School at which except history, religion and divinity learned also Polish and Latin languages, mathematics, physics, etc is open. In 1789, after accession of east part of Grand Duchy of Lithuania to the Russian Empire, the main national school on the basis of which in 1809 the men's gymnasium is founded is opened. In 1838 a hurdy board is opened for pupils, noblemen. Also private schools and gymnasiums, boards and schools for children of wealthy parents were created parish district. In 1865 a female gymnasium, Pobavolny and obstetric, in 1875 medical assistants, in 1899 women's Sunday schools, in 1885 real school are open. At the beginning of the 20th century a vocational school for boys, the commercial school, a school of accountancy, private music school opened. In 1912 in the city there were five gymnasiums, schools, real, commercial, women's, five preparatory, two city, two Jewish and also men's spiritual and women's diocesan schools, theological seminary, a progymnasium, schools, women's two cool, five parish, two general education. In 1913 the Teachers Institute is open. In 1918 the City Department of National Education which started implementation of the wide program for national education is created. For introduction of general education the census of children of school age was conducted, the uniform Soviet school with two steps is created. The first for children from 8 to 13 years. A five-year course. And the second for children from 13 to 17 years. A four-year course. Training became free. In 1920 in the city there were 49 schools of the first step and 22, the second, 43 preschool institutions. In 1918 on the basis of Teachers Institute the Teacher Training College. Since 1937 at it there was a Teachers Institute. In 1919, Polytechnic of a name of Communards, in 1928, Cultural and Educational School, in 1930, Architectural and Construction Technical School of N.K. Krupskaya in 1933, Normal School, in 1937, Musical School is founded. In 1932, 1936, the Mojolov Political and Educational Institute worked. In pre-war years in the city there were 22 schools at which 15,000 children, two institutes, six averages of special educational institutions studied. During the Great Patriotic War huge damage is caused to national education of the city. But already by the end of 1945 in Mojilev 12 comprehensive schools, for school desks mud flows of 7.2 thousand children are restored. In the first post-war years pedagogical and teachers institutes, three construction schools, two vocational schools, two schools of mechanization of agriculture worked. In 1945 the construction technical school, 
In 1947, Polytechnical Technical School is reopened. By 1953, transition to general secondary education is carried up. The educational institutions working in Mojolev as of 2012. Higher education institutions. Belarusian Russian University. Institute of Professional Development and Retraining of Personnel of the Belarusian Russian University. Mojolev State University of A. Kulshev. Institute of Professional Development and Retraining of Personnel at the Mojolev State University of A. A. Kulshev. Mojolev State University of Food. Institute of Professional Development and Retraining of Personnel of the Mojolev State University of Food. Belarusian Institute of Jurisprudence. Pedagogical Faculty of the Belarusian State Academy of Music. Mojolev Institute of the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Republic of Belarus. Mojolev State Regional Institute of Development of Education. Mojolev State Economic Professional College. Architectural and Construction College. Mojolev Professional Electrotechnical College. Polytechnical College. Technological College. Medical College. Library College of A.S. Pushkin. Trade College. Social and Humanitarian College. Mojolev State Gymnasium College of Arts. College of Arts. Musical College of N.A. Rimsky Korsakov. School of the Olympic Reserve. General Secondary Education. In the city there are 45 comprehensive schools, 4 gymnasiums, 4 lyceums, 1 auxiliary school. Mojolev City Gymnasium No. 1. Mojolev City Gymnasium No. 2. Mojolev City Gymnasium No. 3. Mojolev City Gymnasium No. 4. Mojolev State Regional Lyceum No. 1. Mojolev State Regional Lyceum No. 2. Mojolev State Regional Lyceum No. 3. Lyceum of the Belarusian Russian University. In Mojolev, a number of specialized institutions of health care is located. Hospitals. Os Mojolev City Hospital of Emergency Medical Service, Os Mojolev Hospital No. 1. Os Mojolev Infectious Diseases Hospital, Os Mojolev Hospital of Nursing Care, Os Mojolev Regional Hospital, Os Mojolev Regional Lunatic Asylum. Also at Mojolev are present Os Specialized Children's Home for Children with Organic Damage of Central Nervous System and with Violation of Mentality, Os the Mojolev Regional Hospital of Veterans of the Great Patriotic War. Us, the Mojolev Regional Medical and Diagnostic Center, Us, the Mojolev Regional Antituberculer Clinic, Us, the Mojolev Regional Blood Transfusion Station. The network of polyclinics includes 12 city polyclinics, 4 children's polyclinics and 3 dental polyclinics. Also far. 
write comments, read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.